Greek life is alive and well here on West Liberty's campus, and that leads a lot of individuals to think that party life is all that Greek life has to offer. But how true is that? I was able to speak with Kayla Bryan, a member of Delta Theta Kappa, about events her sorority takes part in. Well, um, we have three philanthropists three philanthropies that are um, very important for us. So in the fall, we um, support breast cancer by doing a fundraiser at the uh, football game. We sell shirts, all things pink, um, cookies, stuff like that. Um, and then in the spring, we have our turtle races, which support MS. Those are actually going to be coming up in April real soon. Um, we have fraternities and sororities and other uh, groups on campus come and compete in the pool and we have an audience come to watch those competitions and we donate all the money to MS research and we also support the Ronald McDonald House in Morgantown a couple times a semester by going down and cooking a meal for the people who are staying there at that time. I was able to meet up with Kate Billings, the student activities director, to ask her if the Greek family had a majority control of the events they hold. Um, it's less up to the houses, um, but they use our office as a resource and sounding board. So um, the perfect example is actually yesterday I had a member of Alpha B Delft come in um, because they had hit a roadblock block in, in planning and we were talking about their lighted up blue event, which is for autism speaks, and how to get current students there, not Greek life like other students. So we came in and we were just talking about what was the goal of the, the event and how did they want it to come off to campus and we ended up coming up with this, uh, what is the oddly satisfying, um, like on Snapchat because of the sensory that has to do with autism. Uh -huh. So, but that's what I'm here for. So if they hit a roadblock or maybe they need help getting resources, um, like they need uh, spoons or they want paint because they're doing something, they can come in here and use me as a resource, um, bounce ideas off, or help co come up with a completely new event. But realistically, uh, we it can just be the chapter themselves. Like During an event by Beta Theta Gamma, I was able to speak with Chris McKee about the stereotypes commonly held about Greek life, and if he felt those stereotypes were fair. Uh, I don't think so. Th to be honest, I think that a stereotypical um, like fraternity isn't a fair assumption for any of the press on campus, honestly. Like, this campus is so different from what I've heard from, like, WVU. We don't, we aren't party animals. We try to be good students, good people. We like having fun, but we do, like, we want to get stuff done. For Newsline 14, I'm Brody Eggert. Back to you.